today's video, we're going to be talking about screen shake as a behavior that is all about creating different kinds of screen shakes. So in this example here, I've created a sort of a temple, an ancient temple, and I'm uh, just exploring that temple. I can turn my flashlight on here and here we come across a, uh, a mysterious lever. So if we press this lever, right, the screen shakes when the door opens and as you can see there's a, a hidden room back here with an altar and so forth. Um, so how is that done? Let's take a look at that. So the first thing I want to show you is there, is, there are two logic connectors. So if I turn that on, we can see the switch is connected to the door. That way the door opens when I click the switch, but then also it's connected to a nearby object. Now it doesn't really matter what you attach the shake behavior to. It just needs to be some, you know, object in this, in the scene that can affect the shake. That's not really being used any other way. So I just chose a nearby uh, pot and let's see, let's take a look at the shake behavior so this is actually deceptively complex because there's a number of pre-built uh, sh shakes that are uh, that come with it we've got uh, tremble tremor earthquake explosion drunkard which I thought was clever and then also manual which we're going to get to uh, you know get into at, at the end for now, let's just take a look at the differences. There, I, I feel like they're kind of subtle. Um, I'm going to keep all of the settings the same, and we'll just compare each one side by side. So we saw Tremble. Now let's take a look at Tremor and see what that looks like. So I'm just going to go and click the switch again. Watch closely. Pretty similar. I couldn't really get a sense for exactly what's different. It is different, but it's it's. I wouldn't be able to pick them out. To be honest with you. All right. One thing I'm noticing here. I exit the preview and notice that the the style drop down seems to have kind of disappeared on me. And what I fi figured out is that if I just click off of the object and back onto it, it comes back. So if you see me doing that, that's why I'm doing it. It's just to get that that drop down to come back. So let's take a look at Earthquake. I think Earthquake is dramatically different. So let's take a look at that here. All right. So here it goes. All right. So same settings, but it lasted a little bit longer. It was a lot more wobbly, kind of a, you know, all around wobble. Um, so that was actually quite a bit different. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, let's take a look at Explosion. I think Explosion 2 is distinctive. Uh, so let's go ahead and click the... So it's short and sweet. It's just a powerful shake and then it's over. Right? Again, same settings as before. Different effects altogether. Um, and then I want to take a look at the... Obviously, Drunker is going to be you know quite a bit different. I think you know what to expect. But let's just take a look at it and see. All right. So I come in and I switch and now I'm wobbly right so I'm whoa, whoa what happened right so a little bit of a wobble effect this one the duration seems to last longer see how he's still kind of wobbling around it should eventually taper off um, but uh, it's you know again same settings different uh, different behavior so just keep that in mind and I think that's pretty much why I wanted to to do this video to begin with um, is because it is so dramatically different. Like you would think a screen shake is a screen shake and it's just, you know, slightly different effect, but the, the numbers that you plug in here are going to affect the, the type of shake that it is dramatically. Um, I think more so with the last couple than the first couple, the trem tremble and tremor, I honestly couldn't tell any difference no matter what I did to these numbers, but there, I think that was pretty distinctive. Uh, there's one last be, uh, type of, of shake that I want to point out, and that's manual. Now, this one confused me a little bit because I didn't quite understand or know what to expect with this. Used exactly the same numbers as I did, you know, before. Take a look and see what happens. So I'm just going to play it again. I'll go and 
All right, so that's dramatically different. That's wildly different. And check the duration on this. This is just going on and on and on and on and on. And I could keep this going on forever. I'm going to stop it so you guys don't get sick. <laughs> but you can see my point. Now, the reason it's so much more uh, powerful and so much more dramatic and lasts so much longer is that the whole point behind manual is so that you have a lot more granule control over you know, what that effect looks and feels like so this is a this is a lot more fine tunable if that's a word <laughs> that i can use to describe that so bear that in mind if you're if you're trying out the different presets and it's not quite getting you know where you want it to uh, to be try the manual effect take it slow do baby steps small small incremental numbers um, make sure that things like fade um, are actually much smaller like if i do let's just do like 0.20 all right so much smaller let's take a look and see what it does let's come over here and should i think it'll t it'll stop sooner maybe not i don't know i'm not i haven't mastered all these numbers so i think again just trial and error is the way to go with these you can also change um the uh the sound effect so you know i really only have the one sound effect on the door when the door opens i think a rumble effect or a rumble sound would be great i chose not to put a sound in here because i knew i was going to be repeating this over and over again i really just didn't want it to be annoying uh, but obviously you'd want some sort of sound to kind of indicate something's happening with you know an explosion or an earthquake or something like that and that's it the last thing i wanted to mention is the set that i'm using here this is all almost all coming from um the aztec uh, uh dlc so shout out to them for the awesome assets that i was able to use to create this uh this set the only things that aren't included in that are the the spider webs that came from a, a different dlc from 42 pixels so shout out to him as well those are awesome if you enjoyed the video please uh you know don't forget to click the like button if you want to see more of these don't forget to subscribe that helps the channel out a lot trying to grow the channel and if you have uh, any suggestions about how to better fine tune these numbers uh, please leave a comment uh, down below that'll help others out with as they uh, kind of experiment on their own um, and that's it for me thanks so much for watching all the way through and we'll see you in the next one